All right, guys, so it's been about 12 hours since the LR Super 17 banner came out. And in today's video, as always, we're going to be taking a look at the top grossing rankings to give you guys an idea of whether or not us global players can expect any kind of top grossing rewards and most importantly, top grossing stones over the next couple of days. Now, honestly, I was kind of going back and forth about whether to make this video or not because I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have a you know decent idea of what the answer is going to be, but I also know that there's going to be a bunch of people that will ask me about this nonstop unless I put out this video. So here we are. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now, as you can see, we are on sensor tower like usual, and we're filtered by May 20th, 2021, which is today, all categories and the iOS store. And the first region we're starting with is obviously one that typically performs very well for Dokkan, and that's France. And as of 2.35 p.m. Eastern Time, almost exactly 12 hours after Super 17 came out, France is at number 6, which obviously is not terrible, but it's way below average. It's not a good sign, and I don't think they'll get there, you know, to the number one spot anytime soon. So that's France. Now moving on to... The United States, another very good region for us. Um, wait, where's Dokkan? Wait, I swear they're in the top 10 at the very least. No, they're not. Oh my god. It's the US, right? Let me check my settings real quick. Hold on. A 20th, United States, all categories, iOS. Wow. Yo, Dokkan's down at 23 in the US. What happened there? And it's weird because I swear I just looked at it like 10 minutes ago before I started and I thought they were higher. So, um, yeah, that's that's not so good either. Number 23 in the US right now. But on to Luxembourg. This is like basically the savior of global. This is generally speaking, at least for the last like year or so, has been the best performing region for Global Dokkan, and even Luxembourg can't do it right now, man. At number seven on the top grossing rankings. Usually around this time, you know, for like any half hype banner, it would be number two or even number one. So yeah, as I said, I wasn't really sure if this video was worth it, but I think at this point people kind of expect them. So, uh, Gotta keep making them, you know? So yeah, Luxembourg, number seven. And we'll quickly get through the other uh, through the other ones. We got Belgium uh, all the way down at number 17. We got Hong Kong at number 11. Macau at number... Oh God, okay. Um, In the top 50? No, not in the top 50, wait. Did I miss, I must've missed it. I must have missed. Oh, I didn't. Okay, I was at number 88, guys. 88. Okay, I did not see that coming. Germany is number 36. Netherlands. Hmm, this is rough. This is rough. Um, 54. All right. And then, what's this? Is this Switzerland? Yeah, Switzerland is number 26. And then we have Portugal at number... Where's Port where, where, where the Ogon in Portugal? I can't even find it, guys. I, I can't even find it. It might not be in the top 100. I don't think it's in the top 100. Unless, un unless I just missed it. There's a chance. There's a chance. I don't think I did. Oh, wow. Okay, so apparently it's not in the top 100. Unless I missed it. Doesn't matter, though. The point is, we're not making it in Portugal. Italy. Um, Italy, 39. And Canada, finally. My country. We always end with this, even though, you know, it's very, very, very rare for Canada to hit top grossing. 
I always like to see where we are. So, Canada has Dokkan at number 49. Okay, so I did contribute to this a little bit, just to be clear. All right, I did I did buy a few stones, more than a few stones last night, actually. So, uh, I tried. I tried, guys. But the point is, the point I'm trying to make is uh, it's looking very bad. It's looking very bad. Are we gonna hit? Are we gonna hit top grossing this time around? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. It's not happening unless by some miracle France or Luxembourg, you know, makes a huge leap, like a huge, huge leap from six or seven to number one. It's not happening, guys. So I, I, I would say, don't expect anything. Don't expect anything at all. It's very, very unlikely. And if you want an explanation for why things are so bad, I mean, it should be pretty obvious, right? Number one, <laughs> the Super 17's not that hype. I mean, I, I think he's pretty hype. I think he's pretty hype. You know, like, I think, I know a lot of people like him. I like him too, but it's not the same, you know, as like a new Gogeta, Broly, you know, UI Goku, whatever, something like that. And also, the unit itself is good, but I think he is kind of flawed in some ways, and a lot of people are just like, he's not so busted where like I have to spend money for him, you know, like I just wait until he comes back or like is available in the coin shop or something, right, if I really want him. So I think for that reason, a lot of people also skipped him. And then uh, there's also the fact that his banner is awful, man. His banner is so, so bad. It's even for a legendary summon banner, which usually is poor value, right, for stones. This is like the worst legendary banner we've seen in a long time. So that also is a contributing factor. And uh, oh, there's also the fact that we have like almost no sales for this banner. I just checked. I'm pretty sure the only sale we got was like 132 stone pack and that's it. So the lack of sales obviously is not gonna incentivize people to summon either and uh what else man there's there's another reason oh update 4.16.0 is coming and the anniversary is coming two different reasons actually we've got update 4.16.0 which is going to bring in the uh you know the coin exchange feature in the baba shop so i think a lot of people are following the advice and uh you know just not summoning until the update comes out because that's the much smarter thing to do right and also we have the anniversary you know, a bunch of people know the anniversary is right around the corner, so it just doesn't make sense to really summon on a legendary summon banner when we got a dual Dokkan fest with MUI Goku and SSB Vegeta. So that was a bunch of reasons right there. You add them all together and it results in this. You know, it results in France being at number six, the US being at number, I don't even know, 30, no, 23, Luxembourg at number seven, and, uh, you know, a bunch of other regions in the top, like, 50. There's one that was not even in the top 100. I forgot which one, but you guys get the point. It's, it's looking bad. It's looking bad. So, there's your update. Hopefully, you guys aren't too upset by it. But this shouldn't come as a shock or a surprise to anybody, really. And uh, hopefully, I'll have some better news for you guys for the next top grossing update. Which should be... Actually, I'm not sure. Maybe Videl, maybe Gohan and Trunks, uh, or Goten and Trunks, rather. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not sure about Goten and Trunks, but Videl could get us, like, one or two regions. Maybe. Just because of how busted she is, you know? So, anyways, that's enough talking for me. That's enough rambling. Um, hope you guys are having a good day. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video first time watching first time to the channel make sure to sub to the channel hit that notification bell and uh i will see you guys in the next one i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out